Hey guys, Lady Lee here from LadyLeesHome.com. I am going to pull all of my onions um, for uh, this season and I wanted to take you with me and just take a moment and talk about onions. Um, onions are not too hard to grow. Uh, here in the south we supposed to plant them so I planted these onions you'll see in a minute when I harvest them that they'll be probably medium to small size and that's because I planted them way too late I planted them them in the middle of March um, really in the south here since our ground doesn't really freeze I can uh, plant and I should plant onions in January February is good too they're very cold hardy and you can plant them very early and that will give them a good amount of time to develop a good root system and grow into large bulbs. So we're talking here about um, yellow or white or um, purple onions. These kind of onions, not the green onions. So even though it's a uh, very similar information but I'm talking here about these kind of onions and I will link to a blog post on the blog with more information about planting but really we have three options we can start from seeds we can buy plants so just little green onion plants and plant those and we can plant sets and sets are really just tiny little onions that you stick in the ground and that's what I did since I was traveling at the beginning of March and I didn't do it before I just planted sets in uh, March at the end of middle to the end of March uh, again I could have planted them back in January and this year I might even try to plant my onions in the fall just like I do garlic um, but I haven't tried that yet I'll try but onions is very really really very um, cold hardy and um, they might grow slower or you know they might stop for the winter but they're not gonna die and it really a great idea to plant them as soon as possible to give them a really long time to develop uh, big big onions so I start I planted mine from sets at the middle of March and now we are about the middle of July and I'm in growing zone 7b in North Carolina so today I'm just going to pull all of them and uh, we'll see what we get here. During the time that they're growing, um, I never mulch onions. They're very similar to garlic really, which I've done another video about garlic. So um, I'll link to that too. But they're very similar to garlic. They like the soil on the dry side. So I make sure that I don't mulch so the soil doesn't stay moist around the plants all the time because that can um, cause the onions to rot. If, if we're talking about moisture, then let's also mention that it's better to plant onions in well-drained soil. So pH can be whatever regular garden, vegetable garden pH is 6.2 to 6.8. Lots of you know organic matter and really good soil is always good for all kind of vegetables. But when we talk about onions we want to make sure that we're planting in a place that is well-drained. And I planted them here on this um, little raised bed. It's maybe six inches off the ground so it's not a very deep you know raised bed or anything like that but just a little elevated so the soil can drain much better um, and that's it they the tops are not you know they're not bushy or they're not really covering the ground around them and that means that I need 
to weed a lot and of course in addition to the fact that I didn't mulch or I don't mulch my onions then really weeds are pretty much the main thing that I have to do during the season to take care of this bed um, onions uh, I never had any pest problems with onions so that never been an issue for me um, you know really the only thing that I do is feed them with fish fertilizer or with warm castings or you know any other like Espoma organic fertilizer I do feed them during the growing season every two to three weeks but other than that weeding is the only other thing that I do for the onions so it's gonna start rain soon which is great for the other garden vegetables but these onions do not need any more water um, you can see that the plants are falling over um, you'll notice when your onion is ready that the neck becomes hollow kind of and it doesn't hold the top anymore and the plant will just drop like this also about half of it you know 50% of it just dries like this so I'm going to go ahead and pull all of them from the bed before it starts raining here. You want to do that at the end of a very hot day. We didn't have rain here for, I don't know, maybe almost two weeks. So it's very dry. The moisture content in the onion itself is low and that's what I want. I do not want to harvest onions um, after a rainy day. I want to let them be as dry as possible before I pull them from the ground. So we'll do that and then we'll talk a little bit about how to cure onions. All right guys, so I harvested all of the onions. I brought them here to the front porch under the roof because it started raining. And what I'm gonna do now is cure them. And curing is pretty much just drying, okay? Um, I want you just to, make, just to make sure that you notice that when I harvested the onions, I did not touch the onion itself almost at all. It's okay to brush them from a little bit of extra soil, that's fine. But the skin is so soft right now, we don't want to peel anything, we don't want to touch anything. It's fine if there's still soil on them, we can clean it later when the onion is dry and um, not as soft as it is right now. So just be really gentle when you harvest them because we don't want to cause any damage to the onion itself. So, okay. When we're talking about curing, we are looking for a well-ventilated and um, covered area somewhere that is cool, not necessarily cool, but at least have good airflow, okay? Um, don't make the mistake of leaving your onions on the garden bed thinking it's going to be nice in the next couple of days and if not and it's going to start rain, I'll just run out and get all of my onions. Believe me when I tell you from experience that you're just going to forget them there and the rain is going to come and we don't want them wet. We want to keep them dry for a week or two um, before we store them okay so bring them somewhere under a roof maybe you have a screen that you can put on a couple of bricks or a table um you know a place like that i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave them here on my porch another thing is that we don't want to pile them up we want to leave them in one layer so as much airflow as we can get around the bulbs is best now what we're gonna do some people braid their onions 
So they'll just take a few of them and make a bread, a, uh, a bride from the top of the onions. I don't do that. I just like to kind of get rid of the tops. And I just cut the onion right at the neck. And I cut the roots too. And then I'll just leave them on the porch. I might get a couple of beans and then just leave them in a bean. You can see that there's still so much moisture in it. And what we want to do before we store them is just dry, dry them really, really well. All right, so once they cured, once we left them in a dry, well-ventilated area for a week or two, then we can store them. When it comes to vegetables, it's always better to store them in a root cellar, if you have a root cellar, or maybe in a basement, somewhere that is cool and dry. But onions will do pretty good just at room temperature in your kitchen and baskets or, you know, um, make just make sure to check them once in a while so nothing is rotten and make sure that you have good airflow around them even when you store them later okay um so that is what i'm going to do with this pile of onions now i'll just cut the tops and the roots and put them on the porch to dry and to cure the beds that that i just harvested from um both of those beds are going to get a couple of bags of uh, composted cow manure per per bed i'll probably put a couple per bed and then they are ready now it's july i will plant my uh, fall garden in there in september the beginning of september and um, I'll just clean them, add some compost, and I don't till, I don't mix, I don't bother the soil in any way. I just leave it like this and I plant in the fall right into the compost. That's it. I hope that that was helpful. Really, onions are, are not so hard to grow. If you're just starting with this or with onion or with, gar with gardening in general, I would suggest start either from sets or from plants. Starting onion seeds, it's a whole different, a whole different video, a whole different discussion. It's not as simple. It takes a long time and it really much, much, much easier to either get plants or get sets. You can order them with the rest of your seeds if you order online. I a lot of times find them in our farm supply stores in town, um, but they sometimes don't get to the stores until March. And again, if I wanna plant them early as beginning of February or middle of January even, um, I have to order them online. So I either order plants or sets and they are much, much easier to start with. Here I chose a mix. I got a bag that had a mix of, um, of purple sets and yellow and white. So I kind of have the three, the three types and I like it like that. I just got a big, big bag of mixed sets and I think I got them locally somewhere since I planted late, but um, I'll probably order order my, sorry about that, that was a big truck. I'll probably order mine online, um, hopefully get them in January and then plant them in January. So then once you plant your onions, just remember feed them and weed a lot. Make sure the bed is not getting overrun by weeds don't mulch make sure you plant in well drained soil and wait until the neck is getting soft and the plant is it's not able to hold the top anymore and about 50 percent of the leaves are dry that's the time that you need to harvest your onions that's it again i hope it was helpful please um like this video and subscribe and share it and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you.